this Sim, who's the projectionist inside has had a pass on, he's actually seen crackle and buzz already. What's it like, Sim? I tell you, it's by far their best work to date. It's better than anything they've ever done. Their other videos are totally crap by comparison to this. This is amazing stuff. I mean, we got them live on their tour of Connacht. It's just something else. Are you a big uh, Saw Dr. Oh, I've been in for now since their very first album. It's amazing they came here to this cinema to do this stuff. I met all the bands, got all the autographs, everything. It's just brilliant, you know? Something else. Really fantastic. Here we have Jer, who was a personal friend of members of the Saw Doctors years ago. What do you think of their newfound success? I think it's fantastic and I'm really delighted to see that they're making their own movie now and getting getting people to listen to their music because they're the really most amazing band I've ever come across. Do they still years. talk to you? Oh, of course they still talk to me. They're really great guys and their music is amazing. Really something else, you know? OK, a nice to corner here, Rocky Joyce, the West of Ireland correspondent for Rolling Stone magazine. Some cynics say, Rocky, that there's a load of crackle and buzz about nothing. No, I'm I've been saw Dr. Watchy for two years now, ever since their early gig in the Keys, right through this uh, Hell or Comic tour, it's just been brilliant. Her thing the other night was just amazing. The stand-up version between, it reminded me of the band, the farewell tour of San Francisco in 83, it was just fantastic. When uh, Daniel O'Donnell joins the lead singer on stage for the farewell version of uh, Four Green Fields of uh, Corrafin. Remember that version? Just brilliant. Back in 81, Tom was the original drummer for the Saw Doctors. They parted ways. Was there any harsh words, Tom? There wasn't, no. There was a few skirmishes at the time, but no, was blood, no bloodshed, you know. There was a minimal parting for us each to go our individual ways, basically. And what was the parting about? Well, it was the stereo system. It was quadraphonic and mono, and we, I thought mono would have a better clarity in his album, you know. They were. <laughs> They were heading for, for America. That's what the red cartina is. It's about car countries, you know, but they love the motor car. So I'd say they'd be very successful in America. What do you think of Crackle and Buzz? Uh, the best film yet, since, since, black and, since black and white movies, the best one. How are you going to introduce your art in the Rolling Stone magazine? Well, I think uh, you take a new band, as I said, from the west of Ireland. You just, I mean, there is just no comparison. I mean, this reminds me of the Madison Square Garden, 73, the Rolling Stones. I mean, they started out at humble beginnings. This is what we have, and this group is going to be big. This group is going to be huge. Believe me, watch out. This is really like a Hollywood premiere. The streaming crowds, the dignitaries, and the socialites. And here we have another pair of celebrities. Let's see who we have here. As far as I can see, it's Mr. and Mrs. McDonough, owners of the local Keys Hotel. Miss McDonough, I believe this saw Dr. played in your hotel at the beginning. What was the like? Fantastic, as we are now. And we're very delighted to be part of their success. Thanks very much, Miss McDonough. How are you, Miss McDonough? Wait, who's your favourite member of the Saw Doctors? Dave. Dave. What do you like about Dave? I was like, he has the same name as me. Great stuff. Thanks, Dave. Uh, Wait, who's your favourite member? Leo. Why do you like Leo? He's cool. Yeah, really cool. And what's your favourite member? Sorry. Why? Because it's very funny. Great stuff. And here's the girls. Do you fancy any of the lads in the band? Leo. Leo. Great yeah. stuff. <laughs> Looks like the hours of waiting are over. It's just a Things are relatively quiet here at the Plata Palace here in Galway. Uh, the band have just gone inside for the last five minutes. All the celebrities are inside, so nothing seems to be happening. Oh, wait, oh. No, it looks like the band are going to do an impromptu performance. They're going to be treated to a sound of the song. Try to meet you. Your father used to drive. 
Director of the Galway Arts Festival and recent recipient of a People of the Year Award. Holly, it must be a major coup to have got the world premiere of Crackle and Buzz here in Galway. Well, it's a very natural thing, really, for the band. The band are very close to the roots uh, of the music. Uh, all their friends are here. There's a lot of pressure, actually, from the distributors to have it on in Dublin. But I think, in the end, the band held out and were right, and it's gauged by the reaction time. It's a fantastic premiere. And I must say, we're delighted to be part of all this. Right, I've managed to grab a hold of Brannock, manager of the Saw Doctors. What do you think of the film, Brannock? What can I say? The shams are great. You've been managing the band since, since the beginning. How did you spot them? Well, I was at a Legion of Mary benefit dance one night. The, the shams were playing and I says, great, these guys are going to be good. What did you think of the uh, To Hell or Connacht tour? Any problems? Difficult, difficult tour, difficult tour. Getting the art takes around was difficult. Cancelling the bingo on Bally Harness was difficult. Blacking out Colasso was difficult. But when all is said and done, it, it was good. It was good. So what happens to the Saw Doctors now after Crackle and Buzz? Well, the Saw Doctors, in the film, we brought the lounge bar atmosphere of the West of Ireland to the big screen. Now we're going to bring it to Japan, Australia, US of A. We're going international. And the big question, any chance of an interview with the lads? I know. You're asking the impossible there. The lads keep their personal life totally to themselves. You saw them in the film. That's how you're going to get. Even, a, even one word? I wouldn't think so. Thanks very much, Brannock. Yeah. Right, JJ, Leo, Dave and Porrick, I know you've refused to give press interviews, but surely on this big occasion, the world premiere of your first film, you can say something for your fans. Well, Hello, well. Thank you. Well, not saying nothing, but I thought Dave could have been a bit better. <laughs> Are you serious? Hedge the bugle show. Are you serious? The, that bit was silly where you rammed down the guitar. Yeah, this, is, this is coming from a guy who's wearing a coat like this, is it? It was silly, like. What? what My girlfriend you? said it was silly. You uh, told me to do that. Edge. No. Edge. 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 Actually, we're all the one anyway. Forget about it. You can. Right, thanks very much.